My name is Lindsay and I run the channel and Instagram page Cat Fur and Cross Stitch and I've been stitching for about four years now and thought it was about time that I popped over to YouTube and joined the Floss Tube gang. I have a huge stash of whips and patterns and fabrics and flosses that I just have no one to share with so I thought what a better time than kind of the middle of the year, the beginning of the summer, to pop on and start my channel with a whip parade. So today I am going to do just that. Um, before I start, I just wanted to let you know a little bit about me. Um, as I said, my name is Lindsay. I live in uh, Southern Ontario in Canada. I am married. Um, we'll be celebrating our 19th year anniversary, which is insane. And we have a 16-year-old or almost 16-year-old son. Um, our lives revolve around baseball in the summer. So, yeah, I'm trying to take advantage of a little bit of downtime between tournaments and games and all of that fun stuff to get on YouTube and share a little bit about my journey. I do work full time. Um, I'm a pet mom. We have a dog, a 10 month old golden retriever named Nova and two cats, a five year old tuxedo named Rocky and a about three year old black house panther named Milo. Um, so they may pop in here every once in a while. They're very active, very friendly, very, in your face animals so I wouldn't be shocked if you got to meet them through the video at some point but that's about it for me if you have any questions as we go along please pop those down in the comments I would love to answer those for you and we're going to start with a whip parade so let's get into it okay so before we get started I'll just tell you a little bit about my whips I do keep track of all of the whip names in my Scribbles That Matter journal. I love this. It has black pages and you write in white gel pen and just screams to my aesthetic. I absolutely love the way it looks. Um, I, I counted and I think I have like 70 whips, give or take many more. Um, I have a very eclectic uh, mindset when it comes to stitching. I stitch what I like. I don't, I don't have any specific designers that I stick with or pattern types or stitching styles. So I like primitive, I like Disney, I like everything in between. So you can see I've got a lot of Madame Chantilly's behind me. They're, they were one of my like gateways into stitching was the tiered tray kind of seasonal things that she had. And so I've done all of those patterns. Um, if you see any missing, it's because they're downstairs hanging up. I generally rotate the seasons um, at our front door. And then I have stuff from like uh, Witchy Stitcher, uh, Autumn Lane Stitchery, Plum Street Samplers, kind of anything. Um, I don't I don't discriminate. I love all types of patterns and designers. So uh, I keep all of my whips in the Calyx shelving unit. Um, I have the four cubby ones and uh, two of them are underneath my desk where I'm sitting right now. And I keep the whip bags in there that I'm currently not working on. So these are whips that are in some sort of progress, but I'm not actively working on them. My active whips are actually kept in a footstool that has storage inside it over by my stitching chair, which is right here. And they're all in hoops. They're all in some sort of active progress so that I can quickly pick them up and start stitching. I have about five or six of them in there at all times when I need to or have a desire to start a new pattern. I put one of those away and I will put the new one in its place. So I literally have like six hoops and those are the six that I just rotate through. So um, before we get started, I will let you know that all of these projects are in custom uh, project bags or professional, whatever. They're in project bags that have been designed um, and made uh, through people on Etsy, myself. Um, if I can, I will let you know where the bag comes from. I'm not great at keeping notes, so a lot of times I won't be able to tell you fabric, fabric count, sometimes not even the floss that I'm using uh, currently or where the bags come from, but I do promise that I will get better at that. Um, not knowing that I was going to start floss tube and that this was just for me, I really didn't seem to care if I kept those types of detailed notes, but moving forward, I, I will try my best to make sure that I have that information for you. And if you really do see something that you are interested in, or want to know where it's from, just let me know and I will 
do my due diligence to try to figure out where I got it from because I do have all of my records. I keep all of the receipts of everything that I've bought. It just may take me a while to find it. So in this video, you're likely not going to know all of the information, but I'm going to do my best to give that to you. So let's get started. I'm going to do section by section. I have four sections of whips down here, plus then the little bin. And I'm going to grab each one um, or sorry, I'm going to do each section and I'll pause, I'll put all these ones away and then I'll grab the next section out just so I'm not in a, a mountain of cross stitch over here. So let's get rolling. First up, uh, this is a Sheba Designs bag. It's Christmas. Again, you won't find a pattern between the bag and the, or a correlation between the bag and the pattern in any way. That's just not something that I roll with. I grab what I have and I put stuff in it. So this is probably the least amount of progress I have on a whip in this entire collection, but it is Long Dog Samplers Pandemic. Yes, this is like, what, three years old at this point. Um, I've restarted it about five times just because I've wanted to find that perfect combination of fabric and floss and I think I finally did. So I wanted to put some floss to the fabric so I knew what I was doing and then I put it away. So this is a gigantic piece of ledger by Be Stitch Me and actually I think it goes this way and I am stitching this with DMC 161. It's probably one of my absolute favorite blues in the entire DMC range. And this is all I have done. As you can tell, it's not much. I don't even know if it's a full six strands of floss. I don't know. I literally just did one small stitching session. But as you can tell, this is like an enormous, this is just like an eighth of the pattern size. And this is a 36 count. Yeah, 36 count. As I said, Ledger by Be Stitch Me. And I do have the tag in the bag. So happy to provide that for you. All right, next up is uh, Leela Studios Quaker Halloween or Halloween, Halloween Quaker. I always get that one backwards. So this is, I have a lot of these digitally. So I've tried to print um, patterns so that I know what they look like, but also in the event that I ever did this, I wanted to be prepared. So everyone's seen this, they know what it looks like. I'm not stitching it on the called for fabric. I found that I couldn't get murky in a non Lugana. I really don't like stitching on Lugana. I'm a linen stitcher first and foremost, and then I'll, I will do Ada and I, I will do Lugana if it's absolutely necessary, but I just, I, it's not my favorite. So this is, I know it's called Haunted, and I'll put on the screen uh, the fabric maker because I, for the life of me, I can't remember offhand. And that's what I have done so far. I'm stitching this in all the called for colors. And I absolutely love it. I find that this fabric is just perfect for the stitching. Um, I really like the color combination in this fabric much better than I like for murky. And so far, I think everything's really standing out well on it. So looking forward to getting back to that this Halloween or this fall or this summer, whenever I decide to pull it out. I'm not really particular on when I stitch my stuff. So that's that one. And then the next one, I think I forgot to show you the last bag. This is a Sheba Designs bag as well. Loved the moths. Totally happy with her bag. She's a professional through and through. Great, great service. And I try to get all my bags from Canadian makers just because A, they're cheaper. I don't have to pay for shipping and I get them really fast. So inside this one is Crown and Thistle's Quaker Seasons of Friendship. I did pick up this pattern from Dying to Stitch directly. I had to call them and they shipped it over to me, um, which is fantastic. Makes everything way easier. I'm stitching this with a hand dyed by Rolanda silk. This is a special edition. It's number E7 if anyone's interested in it. And I just picked up a hundred yards. It looks a little ratty right now, but a hundred yards of the silk. And I'm also using um, a Krynik for any of the actual crowns on the pattern. I'm using Krynik uh, number four in 012. I just wanted to add a little something extra to the pattern because it's such a large pattern that I really felt it deserved something a little bit extra. And this is being stitched on a 36 count Be Stitch Me uh, called, from at, or called At The Pond. And again, 
that's all I have done but you can see if I bring it up closer that one crown at the top is actually in the cry neck and then the rest of it is the hand dyed by Rolanda silk floss so I'm working on the winter section and this fabric is just amazing it's absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy that I found this combination um I think Brandy is a genius I have so much of her fabric that it's kind of disgusting but in any event I love her fabric so um I'm excited to get back to that one if and when it pulls my desire to pull it out next up is a pattern in an 805 stitcher bag I'm a cat person love my cats so anytime I can find a bag that has a cat on it I'm all for it and inside this one is Cut it, no, carriage house samplings, uh, you're in Hawk Run Hollow. I love the Hawk Run Hollow series. Originally I didn't and I was like, oh, it's not really for me, but the more and more I stitch, the more and more I fall in love with every single one of the Hawk Run Hollow patterns. So um, this one here is stitched on a 40 count peanut by Be Stitch Me and I'm doing it with all of the called for silks. So the NPIs, there is something I have to say about the NPIs is that they're not variegated. So as long as the DMC colors match, that's probably where I'll stick with in the future. Or maybe I'll make my own conversions just because it's a lot of money to kit something up with silk. Um, and when they're not variegated, I find that I don't get as much enjoyment out of them. So um, just beware. I'm sure you know, but if you don't. NPIs are not variegated so they're not exactly super special um, other than the fact that they're silk which is glorious to stitch with. Uh, next up I have another long dog samplers in this beautiful bag. Can't remember who's who it's by. Apologize for that and I apologize for the zippers. I'm trying my best. Um, this is a pattern that I'm doing in, co in collaboration as a stitch along with Holly the cross stitch addict. And that is Sans Souci by Long Dog Samplers. Um, I was watching one of Holly's videos and I'll link her channel down below. I was watching one of her videos and um, could totally relate to the fact that the two of us have tried to start this pattern five times and just can't seem to come up with a color combination and uh, between the floss and the fabric that we're really committed to using. And I think I finally done it and I believe she does as well. So this is where I am it's not a huge start and you're gonna notice this fabric is pretty familiar it's also ledger by be stitch me uh this is a 36 count it was a fabric of the month and I absolutely fell in love with it and had already ordered it off her website for pandemic so it was just complete coincidence that this came as a fabric of the month at the exact same time that I had found the fabric for pandemic and then started another long dog sampler on it. And I'm stitching this in uh, Dinky Dyes. Let me just pull that up. Dinky Dyes Dream Time. So it's another silk. If I can stitch in silk, I will because I'm like Betsy Klager. I love my silk and if you know, you know. So yeah, love silk in any way possible. Next up, shock of all shocks, another long dog sampler. And this is in a Gamma's Treasures bag. Um, I'll put the name on the screen because I know who made it. I just, for the life of me, can't think of it off the top of my head, the official name. It's another Canadian bag maker, absolutely gorgeous bag. And this is Albert and Effie. And I started this around the coronation. Um, I don't know why. It made me feel royal. Maybe the name Albert, Effie, I don't know. So I decided that I was going to start this around that time, and I did. I'm stitching this in Shock of All Shocks silk. Um, so Belsois, uh, Fern Frond. I have a hand dyed by Rolanda silk, and this is number 313. Absolutely gorgeous pink. And then an actual a DMC, which is just DMC. 36.85. I am a bobinator when and if possible. I have the Pippin chip um, system. I'll do a tour of this room so you can kind of see what I have, but I have the Pippin chip um, system for all of the floss, uh, both variegated and DMC. So 
bobbin where possible. So, and this is stitched on, I don't know. I'm not sure what this is stitched on, a beautiful fabric nonetheless. But that's where I am right now. I'm doing all of the animals in the green, so the fern frond. The main color is the DMC, and then I'm kind of picking and choosing what I do in the hand dyed by Rwanda. So you can see there kind of what I'm going for. Absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's not something that I'm keen to work on all the time, but I just find it's an absolutely beautiful pa pattern. And I'm really happy with the colors. It's not, I'm not generally a pastel person. Um, I'm a blue girl, blue jays, the whole shebang. But yeah, really, really like that. Okay, next up, this is an 805 stitcher bag. It's Christmas. It is the Nutcracker and it's aptly chosen because I have inside it a Christmas pattern. This is Little House Needleworks Kringles. I think this came out in late 2020, early 2021. I can't quite remember. Does it? Oh, 2020. Um, and I fell in love with it. I don't know why. It just reminded me of like old school. I'm old. I'm 42. Um, and I just had to do it. So I'm stitching this in all of the called for. Uh, I think it's some DMC, some over dyed. So that's how I had kitted it up way back then. I think I started this right when it came out. And I'm doing it on the called for fabric, which is... Uh, 30 count Parisian gray by, I thought it was, oh, by Access Commodities. I was thinking it was by Weeks for some reason, but it's not. And I don't have a ton done. Let me figure out if I can hold this up properly. But I have two rooms and then the start of a third room. There's nothing on the under underfold. It's just literally the middle of the fabric. So that's what I have done on Kringles. I really would like to get more done on this this year. It's a beautiful pattern and I think it would look really cute framed up and on the wall for Christmas. I generally don't change out my stitching. It usually just sits in this room here on the wall. So I have stitching all over the place, but uh, I like to put a few pieces up downstairs if and where applicable. All right, this guy's way. Next up is, this is a Little Boat 88 bag. I love this a fabric by Teresa Kogut. I don't know what it is, but it appeals to every little bit of sense that I have. And so I had to get a bag when I found it on her site. And again, she's a Canadian bag maker. Um, this is a Plum Street sampler, who is probably one of my favorite designers. And it's Goody Grimwood. Sorry if there's, I'm trying to make sure that there's not too much glare there, but Gritty, or Gritty Grimwood. Goody Grimwood. And I'm stitching this on Shock of All Shock. Uh, Be Stitch Me fabric. This is a 36 count in the color Sand Dollar. And I'm stitching it in all of the called for. And let me see where I have. I think that's the right way. That's as far as I got on that before a bee in my bonnet. And I had to move on. As you can tell, I have flowers that aren't even completed. And a moon that's not even completed. And life is life. That's just the way I roll. But yeah, love the fabric. Again, I think this was a fabric of, yeah, fabric of the month. I am in uh, the Be Stitch Me Fabric of the Month Club, 36 count, uh, both for the neutrals and the colors. I think that's what she calls them. So, and her silks. Silk, anything. Uh, next up is another Little Boat 88 bag. Love this one. It's just so dainty and pretty. And it's, oh, actually... I think I bought it because it has roosters on it and I have a pattern. I have the uh, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. What's her thing? It's a, uh, can't remember her, Hemlock and Rye, I think is her stitching name. Um, and I have her roosters pattern. And so I bought this bag for it and I haven't started that one yet. So it's housing a new one. And this is a Mirabilia and it's Botanical Garden. I love Miras. Uh, I have so, so many patterns for mirrors. I feel like Fiber Arts Amy and I would get along really well, but I tend to start them and then move on. So this is Botanical Gardens and I'm stitching it with all the called for. I always stitch the mirrors with the called for, um, if and where possible. And I'm stitching it on a, an under the sea fabrics, uh, 32 count in Georgia peach. So it is stitched on a pink. I don't love the Wichelt fabric at all. I find it's way too stiff for my liking. So I tried to replace it with something and that's as far as I've gotten on Botanical Garden. So I got her face 
done and a little bit of her hair and was moving along like stink and then I got to this super kind of all over the place lots of counting required stitching and was like mm, not into that right now so put it away and I haven't gone back to it yet but definitely will because I love that pattern I think the flowers in her hair are just divine losing pad losing losing bags this here is a bags by Wendy. She sells her bags. I want to say on Instagram. I don't know if she has a shop on uh, Etsy or not, but I definitely got them on Instagram and I really like them. They come with these beautiful charms. Each one has like its own unique charm. Just absolutely love them. This one I started in collaboration, Sal, it's not a collaboration, it's my own personal addition to the group with Georgia Girls Stitching and X Stitch MD, so Megan and Shiloh. They started this way back, I want to say it was either 2019, 2020, and it's Patchwork Quaker by Histickendien von, whatever, by them. I'm not even gonna try and I just had to do it and I even copied Shiloh she did it on a Zweigart teal I think I don't know if I have the sticker on here a lot of times I'll just stick the sticker on the pattern but it's not on there so I think it's just like the turquoise or aqua Zweigart and that's as far as I've gotten I'm stitching it with all the called for and I loved the way Shiloh's looked so I had to do it as well so love it I'm a Quaker girl I at uh, well I don't know what that means in like reality in real world but in stitching world I'm a Quaker girl I love the geometric patterns love stitching the repetitive patterns it just makes things so much easier so anytime I can stitch a Quaker I will and you'll probably see that over and over and over again in my stitching so I dropped one let me grab it okay this is don't remember maybe it's a gamma stitcher maybe it's no it's shiva designs i can tell because she puts these cute charms there's a paw print and a canadian flag on it so blackbird designs fabric bag and i bought it specifically because inside it is a blackburn's blackbird designs pattern i'm working on the anniversaries of the heart um pattern collection whatever it's called. Um, I'm working on this and I'm customizing it very similar to the way that Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts, Pumpkin Pumpkin Quilts, I know that that's those two words are in her name. Um, very similar to the way she did it. I'm looking at each of the patterns and I'm literally going to my stash collect or my floss collection and I'm picking out colors that are similar to the way that they looked when they were originally stitched because if you have followed any of the like information around this the colors have significantly changed over time so it's very hard to follow that um I don't have the fabric tag but I think I actually think this might be um a picture this plus so I've got the first five four patterns but then the bonus block done as well hi um so January uh through April and then the bonus block in the middle so I'll show you Kind of a half and half here so I can explain them. So the first one here is January and I customized that for my mom. Um, she was born in January and I tried to stick as true to the colors as possible. Second block is uh, February and that's for my cousin Jonathan. He unexpectedly passed away in 2018 and his birthday was in February and I just thought it would be nice to customize that for him. Then again we have that middle block which is just a bonus block that comes when you do all of the patterns. Um, then for March, I didn't have anyone in my family who has a birthday in March or an anniversary or anything that was really meaningful to me. So what I did was I took it and I customized it for my pets. So uh, we've had a lot of pets since we've got together. Our first one was in 2003. So I did put that as the year there. And then I have all of the initials of the pets. We have now had an additional pet so I, I might go back and add uh, Nova in but I changed the quote as well to when I needed a hand I found your paw and I just thought that that was really cute I think I did that basically because there was a rabbit in it and it kind of reminded me of animals and I think our first one of my animals when I was young had a birthday in March so whatever and then the last one on this that I've done is April and that's for my sister Stephanie her birthday is in April 
I don't even know if I put the year on there when she was born. I don't, maybe there wasn't a year in that pattern, but either way, it's beautiful. I love the colors and I'm really, really happy with the way everything's turning out with the flosses that I'm picking and how customized it is. Like no one else is going to have this exact pattern. They might stitch it the same. They might have the same or fabric even, but they're not going to have the same flosses. They're not going to have the same customizations that I have on it. And I really find that that's super special and kind of love it. So yeah. Um, next up, another Little Boat 88 bag. This one has snowmen on it. I love snowmen. You'll notice as I go on, I'm a snowman girl more so than a Santa girl. So any of my Christmas designs, a whole tree is decorated with more snowmen than anything else. I don't know why, I just love snowmen. So this is a beautiful snowman bag. And again, aptly chosen. I'm just gonna show you one pattern. Uh, this is the first pattern. It's for the snowman or the snowman collector series. I haven't done very much because life I decided I was going to start by doing the uh, outline of everything and then I got bored, so I stopped. Uh, this is the Called For Fabric, which is a Fabrics by Stephanie. We pull out the tag, yeah, Fabrics by Stephanie Chocolate Milk. Um, and I did a decent portion, this is kind of boring to show, but a decent portion of the outlines for the boxes. And like I said, I got bored of doing that little repetitive design over and over again. Oops, messed up my hair. It's already messed up. Um, so yeah, put it away. I love them though. I love every single pattern that's come out. So I have full expectation that I will um, stitch this. Uh, maybe even pull it out for snowfall. It might be my snowfall stitch this year. I generally do have a snowfall stitch that I like to do. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Another one that I'm slightly doing in collaboration with, I can think of her name, it's a Huga Stitcher. Why can I not think of her actual name? I'll put it here. Um, because she's doing it. So I watch a lot of floss tube and start a lot of sales, but don't actually declare myself as part of the sale. So I call it saling in secret. I'm sure everyone does that. But this is Spring Quaker by Lila's Studio or Lila's Studio. I think it's Lila. Lila. Sorry, I can't remember. I know that there's a proper way and I think I say it wrong. I'll get better. But yeah, this is Spring Quaker by Lila Lila Studio. Um, and I, I just love it. I love, I wish, and I hope that she redoes the, um, like an autumn Quaker and a winter Quaker. I know she has holiday Quaker and then Halloween Quaker, but I love this style of pattern the way that she's done this and she did the same for the summer. So I really hope she decides to continue on. I'm doing this in all the called for and I'm doing it on a piece of, it's heroic by uh, Picture This Plus. I think it's 32 count and that's how much I've gotten done. I loved the pink and blue pops in the fabric to go with the pink and blue pops in the pattern. I thought that it was just Kind of perfect. I think I bought this fabric for a different pattern, but I always forget and then I use it for something else. But yeah, so far really enjoying it and have completely loved stitching it every time I pull it out and I'm just desperate to start summer Quakers, but know that I have this and Halloween both on the go. So will it stop me? Probably not, but um, it has so far. So we'll see how long I can last. I know that um, the Huga Stitcher is actually planning a sal to start, I think, in August for that. So it may be a uh, sal in secret again. This is, again, who does these? Stitch Toolbox, Dot Dot Goose. One of those, it's a uh, bag by her. Um, and it is my current uh, snow day stitch. So anytime it snows, I stitch this. So I haven't done it in a few months. You'd be shocked to find out... Uh, just how short amount of time it has been, even though it's June 2nd. So, yes, 2nd. Um, this is Let It Snow by RETM. I'll put, insert the picture because I don't actually have it here in front of me. And I'm stitching it on a 28 count uh, linen uh, in the color Twilight by Picture This Plus. Sorry, the sticker's literally stuck to the inside of my bag. And I'm stitching this with um, just Blanc, DMC Blanc. 
and that's what I've gotten done. So I was I did have the Quaker Snowflakes by uh, Hello by Liz Matthew Matthews, and I finished it. So then I picked this one up as my next one. So I only got this far before the snow stopped coming. And I don't do snow days. I just try to do like significant snow. So if there's like a few flurries in the air, unless I'm feeling it, I won't pull it out. But if there's like a decent amount of snow, like a covering of the ground, which doesn't take much being in Canada, then I will stitch that up. Sorry about that interruption. If you noticed anything, my son decided to pop home for lunch. So I uh, wanted to stop and see what was up because he doesn't normally come home for lunch because, you know, he's in grade 10. He's too cool for that. So anyways, continuing on, the next project is in a me made project bag. I follow the pattern by Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. Um, I've perfected it a little bit. I wouldn't call it perfect, but I've perfected my technique. Um, over the while, over the last while, but this is just one of the original ones that I made. It's a smaller cut of fabric, so I adjusted the size, and it's really shoddily made. But it was one of the first ones. So, uh, as I said at the beginning, I'm a huge baseball nut. My family's a baseball family. Well, my son and I are baseball. My dad and all that stuff. My husband has done it because of necessity with my son and our baseball love. So I, on the opening day of the season this year. Uh, Blue Jays first game I decided I was going to stitch baseball all season long every time I watched a Blue Jays game. Well I watch every single Blue Jays game um, unless we're on the field um, as well because my son plays rep baseball and I got really bored of doing baseball all the time. So this is the current pattern that I'm on. I did finish one and I'll show that when I do kind of my tour of the room and finishes and stuff. Um, and this is by Spooky and Steve. It doesn't have an actual name on it. Um, so it's just life is better at the ballpark, which is absolutely true. And I'm stitching this on a hand dyed, it says Logana, but it is actually linen. So I'm not 100% sure. And the cut's bigger and stuff. So I don't know if this was the wrong tag. I did pick this up at Stitch North last year. So the inaugural, inaugural, horrible way of saying that, um, Stitch North. And it's by Britton Needle. And it is called Tea and Tauntons? Tea and something? Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's just, it, again, it says it's six by six. This is definitely bigger than six by six, um, but it's beautiful nonetheless. And I'm stitching this with um, actually a complete conversion because it does call for DMC and I'm doing it in over dyed. So I'll show you those in a second. That's as far as I've gotten. Um, I think this was pretty much all I was able to do in like one hoop move. Um, and I'm stitching it in Leo and Roxy and I guess some other bits and bobs too. So I have Leo and Roxy, their Betty White and Chalkboard. So those two. Also stitching with uh classic color works old blue jeans and gentle arts uh old red paint so these are the pip and chip um bobbins i love them i absolutely love them so that's what they kind of look like there and they have the names and the color swatches and everything on them they're just they're just fantastic and also in this bag here i have the next up in the stitching so this is little house needleworks take me out to the ball game and i have some fabric in there for when i want to stitch that and then i also have american balls um and this is by keen stitch so my son's also a big football fan so is my husband so um so yeah that's my little kind of sports section um yeah kind of fun whatever Next up is another Little Boat 88 bag, and this is kind of woodland animals, which is very thematic to what is inside, and that is the Cottage Garden Samplings Year in the Woods stitching. Um, I have all of the patterns, and they're kind of all spread out. The ones that I've completed are in this bag, and then the ones that still have to be stitched are in this bag, and I'll show you what I've done. Um, this is all on the called for fabric except for the blue. I couldn't find Mirage, but I don't know if I have the tag to say what this specifically is. I think it's Nocturne, if I'm not mistaken, and I've done the January and February pattern on here. So the fox and the swans. And I absolutely love how this uh, pattern collection is coming together or came together. Obviously, it's done now. 
Um, I didn't finish it on time, but that's okay. We're not all perfect, right? Some of us have flaws, and mine is that I never finish anything that I start. Next up is the Spring Trio, and I do have those complete. And this is on... Oh, I don't know if I have the thing here to say what it is. Anyway, it's the called for fabric. So there is the ferret, the rabbit, or jackrabbit, and the raccoon. And I was keeping up with these um, every single month and making sure that I was stitching them. I started them on the first. I actually was doing these in alongside the anniversaries of the heart. So I was doing them kind of you know, I would do one and then I would do the other and then I would move on with my regular stitching and that died after the bear apparently because that's the only guy I have done from the next trio, which is the summer trio. So that is the bear. And again, that's on the called for fabric, which I think that one's Valor. And then I have the fabric, I have Oaken, which is the autumn color for the, those um, patterns. So again, I've completed six. I have the eagle left, the barn owl, the woodpecker, the brown bat, the beaver, and the reindeer. And I do anticipate that I will finish that at some point, just not quite yet. Next up is um, a pattern or stitch that I started on May 1st, which was uh, for the Manning May Sal. Um, this is in a Bags Plus um, kind of cast or project caddy thing, whatever she calls them. Um, and so I started the Manning May Sal with uh, Seattle Stitcher, the Museum Stitcher, Cam the Stitcher, a whole bunch of people. They all started this. Um, and I don't remember the fabric that I'm stitching on. I think it's a fabric by Stephanie and I'm doing the pattern Pegasus. I got this far I think by like May 2nd and then I stopped because squirrel. I'm such a squirrel person so that's as far as I got. I really like this fabric. I wanted a, a like a non super variegated fabric obviously because it is full coverage but I am gonna frame this with probably an inch border around it and kind of use the fabric as the matte color. So I wanted something that would complement the colors. And the colors of this, as you can see by the bag, these are not the pip and chip. These are kind of my backup. I was stitching off of these, so I do have a full collection on just regular bobbins. And so when I'm storing the DMC with the project, they're on these, because my pip and chips stay either with the active whip and then when I put the active whip back on the calyx units, the floss goes back in the caddy so that I always know where it is and I don't have to project dive for project or for floss. So that is the Carolyn Manning. And I'm sorry, if I didn't say that, that's a Carolyn Manning pattern. Next up is another 805 Stitchers bag. This is the one that she created for Winter Rose Manor, which is um, uh, with a needle and thread Brenda Gervais pattern. Um, I haven't started that, but I did buy the bag to go with it. If and when I decide to get to that, I will get to it. Just haven't yet. And this is a Prairie Moon. I don't have the picture, so I'll insert it um, for you. But this is Prairie Moon's Zombies. I'm stitching it with all the called for, except I didn't, couldn't get, maybe I'm not stitching it with the called for, because I don't, maybe I am, I don't remember. But I have some water lilies in here. And I think it's because I either couldn't get the Belsois, um floss or the colors weren't different enough. I'm not 100% sure what my thinking was behind it. And as you can see, I've gotten such a huge start. It's literally all I got. I think it's from, and I even think it goes this way. I think it's from the umbrella. It might even go this way. I have no idea what way it goes. I have to look at the pattern. Yeah, I might go this way because I usually start in the upper right if I can and that would make sense. So it's not even worth showing really. I think I said pandemic was my least amount of progress on a pattern. I think this took the cake. So uh, next up is the last one from the initial cubby. I did during that kind of little break take the time to pull out the second caddy. So it is here and I can just continuously go through. This is another one of the 
such toolbox dot dot goose so i'll put it on the screen bag and it's just got clocks on it and i did buy this because it is the bag that i'm housing my one and only heaven and earth design it's actually not a heaven and earth design so it's just a full coverage design but i thought it would be heaven and earth it's artisy and it is a leonid aframoth and don't mind the crinkled state of the pattern um this is night colors and it's funny because this is the only pattern that my son has showed any interest in. Um, when I showed him the picture, he goes, I want that. And I was like, oh, okay. So I, again, was stitching um, this. I'm doing it a slightly different. I'm doing um, color completion. So it's full cross country. And I don't like it anymore. I loved it when there was lots of color of one, like lots of stitching of one specific color. I don't like it anymore because now we're getting down to more of the like lesser colors. This is on uh, 18 count Ariel um, by Picture This Plus. It's an Ada and I'm stitching it two over two. So this is what I have done so far. I think I have about four or five colors complete. The white is also complete. You just can't see it because it blends in. It will pop eventually. So I think I'm going to go back to the top corner and I'm just going to start completing uh, diagonal now so that I can kind of move along but I'm really happy with the progress I kind of like I love how it looks when you're not like right up close and in the actual stitching because once you're in the actual stitching stitching it's just like I don't, I don't see anything it's just a blob of color and it's just it's a lot so um but yeah once you actually kind of see it from afar they really do look nice and I have a card in this bag hold on I think it's going to tell me who they're from stitching ca that's who the bags are from, Stitching CA. So, um, yeah. So thank you, Stitching CA, for putting a card in that I, and thank you me for, or past me for keeping said card in the bag. Therefore, I can do it. So anyway, this is not one that I pull out very often, but it's there. All right, let's pull over some of the ones from the next bin so we're not reaching too far. First up is in a Sheba Designs bag. Again, it's Christmas. There's not a Christmas project in it, but life is life. This is the Ink Circles Sumatra series. So she has, I think, four patterns. I have three here. I have Squirrels of Sumatra, um, Forest of Sumatra, and Star of Sumatra. And I'm, I, I love them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I have one started and then I have the fabric and floss for the other two. So the one that I have started, and I'll insert a picture of it, is Star of Sumatra. And I'm stitching that with, I think this is actually the called for Gloriana. This is Gloriana in the color Royal Plum Light. They do have this on um, one, two, three stitch. So Gloriana is really hard to get these days, but this color they do have. And this is how far I've got. There's actually a piece of floss attached to it. I have a really hard time stitching with super variegated floss. I love variegated floss. I love the way it looks um, on the pattern, but when I actually stitch and I'm not being strategic in it, I find it very, very hard. So I'll just show you that up close to be okay with kind of the blobby look to the stitching. So if the, the colors change and they don't make sense. Um, so I'm really trying to be conscious of the way that I'm stitching this and trying to be intentional with the stitches and we'll see where that goes and <laughs> how far oh sorry just gonna put my water in front of the um camera um the other one here is forest of sumatra I'm going to be stitching it on this be stitch me morning fog and I have a hand dyed by Rwanda um silk floss for it I think that's absolutely gorgeous they didn't have the called for silk I think at um, one, two, three stitch. So I picked that and it's just beautiful. And then the Squirrels of Sumatra, I don't own dragons yet. I think that's the fourth one. I'm gonna be stitching on this Picture This Plus uh, sand and I got another hand dyed by Rolanda Silk and that's kind of the browns and the, and the black. And I thought, again, that's really pretty. It goes sort of in line with the colors that are called for or at least what look it looks like in the pattern without being super similar so i'm um, very happy with that next up is another bags by wendy and i really like this it has again i bought it because it has cats 
unicorn cats to be specific um, on it. I've taken the charm off because I think I stuck it on a different bag, but um, this is a Heartstring Samplery's The Cat Sampler. And again, I did say earlier, I am a huge cat person. Many cat tattoos, it's just, it is. Um, so yeah, this was the perfect pattern for me. I'm stitching it with all the called for. Uh, on a piece of Zweigart, this is a 30, I think it's a 36 count Zweigart in, is it smoke? I think is the color, this color. And that's how far I've got, gotten, that's how far I am. Uh, and no cats yet. Oh no, I lied, there's a little kitty in the window. So I really love stitching this pattern, but as I said, I'm, I have an attack of the squirrel. So it just is what it is. And inside here, you can see I do have all the flosses and I have, again, full collections of Weeks, Gentle Arts and Classic Color Works in my um, Bisley drawers with the Pip and Chip things, but I also have a ton of extra. And that's the reason I went to that system. I'll explain that in my uh, room tour later, but um, because I was just buying doubles of everything. And so this way I know I have it in there and I don't need to buy it. So um, if I have doubles, I'll stick them in the bag and then that way I don't have to pull the floss every time I pull out the project. Next up is another me made bag, nothing fancy. And this is Northern Expression Needleworks twisted rainbow or what's it called twisted twisted band sampler I don't think I have a colored picture but that's what it looks like and I have notes that it's on 36 count antique white as you can see I generally will stick the sticker on there if I have something to stick the sticker on um the little tray that's back here which is what I have my computer on what I watch floss tube on um has tons of fabric stickers all over them because I generally don't assign bags to projects until I put the project away so they just sit on there and I'm like I don't know what this goes to anymore but I'm also stitching this with all of the called for um overa um silks and I actually am not doing too bad on this I don't know why I put it away and stopped working on it but I've got a decent chunk of bands done I think I kind of got sick of that kind of pukey yellowy brown color so um but I know if I just keep persisting I'll get into the blues and greens and purples so I just have to do that but yeah love that and it's just so pretty I am doing the cross stitch um only pattern you can get it with a lot of the fancy um stitches and stuff but that's just not my that's not my jam I don't do that that often anyway um so yeah I'm just doing the cross stitches uh another me made bag love cats love the cats in weird hats I guess but um yeah this is one that I saw uh Jen from Quirks Quirks and Stitches and Emily from Eclectic Possessions working on um so I decided I would pull it out I have all of the called for floss these are on Adam Hart cross stitch um bobbins it's DMC but because there's so much I did decide to do it this way. So that's all on there. And this is the picture, actually, the pattern's open so I can see the pat the flosses. This is, where's the front? Peacock, unicorn, and a badger. Not 100% my style, but I love the quirk of the animals. They are so cute, so just different. Um, and I am stitching this on, does it say anywhere? No, I'm stitching it on just a, I think it's just like a plain Zweigart, maybe. Oh, it's a vintage country mo mocha, but it's the, the inverse side. So I have a, a, an abundance of vintage country mocha in my collection. And so the other side is just like mocha. Um, so I just flipped it over and I'm just doing it on the plane. Because I felt, I don't know, I don't know why I chose to do that, but I did. And so this is how far I've gotten. And it's all in DMC. It's beautiful. It is full coverage. So it's a lot of work and it is on 40 count. And while I love 40 count, I have no problem stitching on 40 count. I do need my light and I wear readers, but you know, other than that, there's no issue. It's just, it's a lot of work. And, and I love the puffiness of two over two over two on 36 so when you're not doing two over two on 36 it's kind of like oh, it's pretty thin even though it's 40 count so 
anyway, little by little, that guy will get done. Next up is another Blackbird Designs. This is in a Me Made Project bag. Cute. Um, this is Blackbird Designs Midnight Watch. Again, there's a cat on it, so of course I'm going to do it. And Halloween, not necessarily Halloween, but autumn is like my season. So anything autumn -y. Um, Yeah, so love this one. And I'm stitching it on Vintage Country Mocha. Pretty sure. I don't know. It's not Vintage Country Mocha. I don't know what I'm stitching it on. A fabric. I'm stitching it on a fabric. It's similar to Vintage Country Mocha. And I've gotten this far. And I'm stitching that with all the called for. So I've kind of done the most of the stitching, like the bulk of it. And um, below this is just the rest of the house and then the alphabet. So it shouldn't take too long. I mean, obviously stitching too long is a different kind of too long in real life, but it shouldn't take too long considering that I'm done the like heavy lifting of the stitching. But we'll see. Again, that'll probably come out towards the end of the summer unless I get a real desire to stitch on it more before then. <sighs> Another me made project bag. I told you I love project bags. I like to have actual project bags and not like the Amazon ones. Not that there's any problem with it. I just like the real ones. Um, this is Glendon Place Eggs All Around. And I started this uh, for Easter this year and then again got squirreled. So I'm using. I think all the called for 28 count chrysalis by picture this plus and then all the called for uh crinix beads and whatnot let me show you what i have inside here so yeah it's just a full of beads and crinic and the fancy floss that is called for and again i'm stitching this on 28 count chrysalis and that's how far i am I have almost one egg complete. I think there's just beading left on that because I did start the next egg and then one leaf. Very pretty. Love the colors. I really like London Place. There's just a lot of, like, a lot of deceiving stitching that goes into that. So, um, I don't know if that was proper English, but you know what I mean. It's very deceiving how much stitching goes into it, especially when you're using fancy flosses and crinic, which is... Not quite devil floss, but it's in the same vein. Another me made project bag. Again, I love this fabric. It's got little spiders hanging from kind of like really vintage type fabric. Um, and I paired it up with some just dots on the inside. And this is another carriage house samplings. And I have all of these ladies. I think they're really kind of neat and quirky. This is Susanna. She's the only one that I've started and I will probably just stitch one until you know, until she's done and then I'll move on to the next one. And I'm using, again, it's a Be Stitch Me and I think it's like Badlands is the name of the fabric. I could be completely wrong on that, but that's how far I've got. And she is uh, Stitch All in DMC. So she's using all the called for so far. If and when I need to change any, I will, but I really, really like her. I love the colors in this. These speak to me more than anything has ever spoken to me. I am very much a teal, turquoisey blue girl, and these just yell at me from uh, afar. And again, that's Be Stitch Me, I think Badlands in 32 count. Or sorry, 36 count. Don't listen to me. I clearly have no idea what I'm talking about. Next up in a uh, Shiba Designs, I just saw the tags on it. This is really pretty. I am doing another Long Dog Samplers and this one is a Silent Sal with, or Secret Sal with Holly from the Cross Stitch Addict. And that is Crosswords. I think that's, how, I, th I always just say crossword, but I think it's crossword. Um, and I'm doing this on, it is, I don't know the actual fabric. I think it's a Mystic Fabrics. It's a purple um, 32 count and it's got opalescent in it and it's really, really pretty. Let me open it up just a little bit more so you can kind of see. It's got little splotches of orange and whatnot and that's all the further I am. Not very far. I've got the one little owl in the corner. But again, I think I was testing the fabric and the floss. And this is being stitched in Classic Color Works Pansy Purple. I just had a ton of it. I think I had anticipated doing a different pattern in it and then I never did. So I just had a lot of that floss. So I opted to use it for this on a purple fabric. So it's kind of tone on tone. 
which is really nice. Okay, next up is a Little Boat 88 bag. <laughs> Cute, loved it. Vintagey, right up my alley. Everything's right up my alley. And this is kind of the, the pattern collection that I have that I'm doing for my husband. Um, he's not a cross stitch person, obviously, but I do a lot of cross stitches for him. So, too bad. Um, he's a big Garfield fan though, and uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. came out with this design that's uh, called Fat Cat, and it says, I'm not overweight, I'm just under tall. Perfect. And I did buy the entire kit. And this is how far I got. I'm just on the border before squirrel hit. And the pa uh, the fabric is a wing commander colorway. Um, so that's that. And I'm stitching it with all the forbidden fiber floss. Let's see if I have those handy. So all the forbidden fiber flosses that are called for for the fabric. And then I also have in here another pattern. I don't have the picture, I don't think. Do I? No, I don't. So I'll insert that as well. And I don't I don't think it has a name, so I just call it No You Hang Up First. And I'm stitching this on fabric that I hand dyed myself and using just whatever kind of floss I want. So some of it's Krynik, some of it is over dyed. Here comes the cat. Um to see what's going on. Hi Rocky, this is Rocky. He's my in your face tuxedo cat. So um, you'll see him a lot probably. Hi baby, okay, down you get. So yeah, um, working on that, I just thought it was hilarious that it's kind of like a lovey-dovey pattern, but it's um, Ghostface from Scream, which is one of my favorite horror movie genres. My favorite favorite is um, Halloween. So I love all those movies. So yeah. Just kind of working on those slowly but surely and we'll give them to him for whatever occasion is coming up. Here comes the cat again. Rocky, get out of here. Sorry for the motion. I'll uh, see if I can calm him down. Okay. Oh, get it. Off you go. Off you go. All right, next up in another me made project bag with cats on it is another series by Blackbird Designs. And this is the um, loose feather series for the birds. So I have all the patterns and I'm actually already um, earmarking these for the New Hampshire Stitcher. Um, she was looking for them and I told her that I have the whole collection and I don't keep my patterns after I've stitched them. I will just pass them along. So I'll send them to her as I finish them so she can get started if she wants to. And I am stitching this on Vintage Country Mocha with all the called for fancy floss. And, and, oh, and this is how I am. I just got my first pattern done. Rocky, stop. Oh, please, 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 please. And this is how far I've gotten. I just have the first pattern done. And I put my uh, letter in there for L for Lindsay, just because it made sense. And yeah, so happy with that. Love the colors. I'm just going to move you a little because the cat knocked the camera over. Rocky is my pride and joy. I literally have a tattoo of him on my leg um, because I love him so much, but he would be the death of me. So yeah, I have that one. Uh, next up in another Me Made Project bag, I have the... Carriage House Samplings Christmas of Hawk Run Hollow. So you've seen Year, this is Christmas. I love this one, I'm such a Christmas nut. I'm stitching this on 40 count peanut, which I think is the same as what I'm doing Year at Hawk Run Hollow. Let me grab the cat, who will literally be the death of me. He's so cute and that is a good thing, cause I would kill him if he wasn't. Um, But yeah, so same thing, I'm doing Year at Hawk Run Hollow one, this is where I am at Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. And again, I'm stitching this with all of the called for NPI floss. I'm really happy with that. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Very, very excited to continue on with that guy. And I have all of, like I said, the NPI floss. I just have them instead of on bobbins or like floss drops, I have them in a little floss case which is kind of annoying because it takes up so much stinking space in my storage but I'm not switching it now it just it is what it is 
decisions were made, things were done, life will be lived. Next up in another me made project bag, I have fur all over my face, which actually has cats on it. Um, this is another Glendon Place pattern. And this one is called Flowers of the Holy Night. And I started this one for like around Christmas last year. And it's beautiful. And in the back I have all the Dinky Dice floss that's called for and the beads. I'm stitching it on just some antique white, I believe 32 count because it's got beads on it. And it's such a huge piece of fabric. I don't know why it's such a big piece of fabric, but that's how far I got. Just the first set of leaves and the first couple of petals of the first poinsettia flower. So yeah, and I have those actually on like the non backup ones on bobbins as well. And I can't remember who makes these. I'll put them on the screen because these ones are almost more of my favorites than the Adam Hart cross stitch ones because I really like the way that they lie. Um, but yeah, that's all Dinky Dice floss for it. So happy with that. Probably won't get back to it until again Christmas or if I'm feeling a red mood, which doesn't really ever happen, but you never know. Shock of all shocks, another me made bag with cats on it. I loved this one because there's just the one little black face cat and the rest are all the white. So it's like the black sheep. And then I have cat fabric on the inside. This is one that I'm doing a secret sal with um, Bobby from Pumpkin Creek Primitives. She showed this in one of her earlier videos, Quaker Compass by Rosewood Manor. And I love it so much. Again, the colors are just me in a nutshell. And this is being stitched on 36 count flax Edinburgh linen. I don't know if that's actually what it is. I think it might be on on uh, that same thing, Storm by Zoe Guard. I think I might have restarted this. Um, and that's where we are. Stitching this with all the called for, except the letters on here that are for my family. So the M, the S, and the L will be in a slightly brighter floss so you can see the end there is just slightly brighter just to kind of make them pop a little bit the cat's now lying on all of my project bags so like seriously but anyway yeah so that is where I am on that I did actually just pull that one out recently and stitched on it for a day and so I feel like I am very productive in my stitching excuse me Rocky I need all this stuff thank you um okay next up I'm not even gonna say it anymore it's to be made project bag um, this is the soda stitch that I started because Rogue Mama Stitcher and uh, I think it's Amber and Jordan the Tattooed Stitcher made me start a soda stitch. And this is the Wizard of Oz. It's on that same um, the green fabric that that Easter one was on. I can't remember. Chrysalis, I think is what it was called. Picture this plus. And this is just a 32 count. And that's the start on the center block. Sorry, it's all crinkled. Normally I iron them before I put them away, but this guy just went away. So yeah, I got the lion started there. He's super cute. And I will pull that one back out again. Sort of stitch really is probably the only type of pattern or like designs that aren't necessarily in my wheelhouse. I'm a huge Wizard of Oz fan though. So if anything is going to get me to stitch them, it's Wizard of Oz. So I'm trying, I'm really trying. It's just, it's not 100% up my alley on what I would normally stitch. Next up is another 805 stitcher bag. I decided to try one of these for fancy lady stitching. Um, and I don't think I have fancy lady in it, do I? No, I don't have fancy lady in it. So go figure. And I did that because there's fancy ladies on the inside. Best laid plans. This is, what do I have on here? Oh, this is the 2023 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along, uh, Reaching Skyward, I think it's called. And I'm stitching this on a, do I have the fabric in, or the floss tag in here? I do. Uh, Mystic Fabrics 36 Count Pearl Linen. And I'm stitching it with some silk floss from silk for you um i have a lot of silk for you floss i absolutely love her silks so i'm just stitching with like a black and then kind of a tonal turquoisey on turquoise and i'm just stitching away this is how far i've got i was on a roll at the beginning of the year 
I thought I was gonna finish it, no problem. And, and then I stopped. But I love the colors and I love the, all the customizations that Jacob included with his pattern. So you can kind of make it a bit of your own, but it also makes it a little bit more challenging when you're stitching it because you have to go back and forth between the main pattern, which has, I guess, what his main choices were, and then the back of the pattern book, which has all the alternatives. So you kind of have to be really careful and really strategic in your choice of where you're putting your stitches. Um, another Me Made project bag, this one without kitty cats on it, but I loved the batik fabric that is on the inside. This is another Ink Circles. For the life of me, I can't remember the name and I don't have the picture, so I'll insert that, but I did my own conversion to dinky dyes and I clearly didn't get very far. Open that up a little bit. Didn't get very far. I don't remember the fabric either and I don't have the sticker. You're welcome. And I haven't ironed it. You're also welcome. But yeah, it's a Quaker. I love Quakers. I have itchy nose from cat hair. This was, I found May was a really rough month for me. I finished a big project that I had been working on and then I go into like complete dissolving mode and I'm like, I'll start this, I'll start this, I'll start this, I'll start this. And I can't find something that I'm really happy with until I find something I'm really happy with. And then I'm like a monogamous stitcher until it's done and then it repeats all over again. So that's why I have so many starts is because I flit and fart until I find something I like and then I finish it and then I'm back at it again. So next up is a project bag. Um, this is from Evertote. Of course, I'm a Canadian girl, so it's a Canadian project bag. And in here is another pattern. Again, it's by, it's from the Silk Stitching app. I think it's like his, his streak stick booster or something. So I'll put it on the screen. And it is massive. When I did the stitch count for it, I was like, are you insane? So I luckily had a full yard of bramble um, by Picture This Plus and like literally it's it's a bed sheet. You know, it's not as wide. So, but like, hi, I don't, I don't know how I'm ever going to get this on a wall anywhere. So I think it's just like happy progress stitching for me. And that's all I've done so far. But I absolutely love it. You can kind of see the variegation in the floss there. Or at least I hope you can. I'm stitching it with another Silk For You floss. I just kind of broke it up and put it on some floss drops, but this is like a red on red floss. And if you're think wondering what the color is, it's PR067. And I think I got this because Michelle at Mama Loves You GB said that this was really good for the Blackbird Designs to all a good night, I think, for the house. And so I literally bought an entire hank of it and I'm like, I'm not gonna need that much. So let's just use it for a different project. And this is just gonna have to get rolled up and shoved in a bag because it's literally the largest project I have. And I don't know what I was thinking. Clearly I wasn't, but whatever. Um, and then in front of me, I have a project that is not complete, but also not in a project bag. So I'll just show you that one because I'm ready to move to the next section. This is a Stitch Rovia pattern and it's called Let Your Smile Change the World or Let Something About Your Smile. And I'm doing it for my niece. So I have the first part done and I'm working on the next section. And this is on um, Blue Whisper. Uh, linen by Zweigart and it's a 32 count so I, I this is not my color scheme I don't love the really orangey brights but um I'm hoping she'll like it because it is all the called for colors because uh Emma Congdon at Stitcherovia is like a genius when it comes to mixing and matching all of her colors so I go with it all right, so give me two seconds. I'm just going to pull out the next section and put these ones away so I'm not in a mountain of cross stitch and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I hope you guys really like long videos and that you're stitching because it's going to be a long one. Got another full section of the calyx and then my stitchy drawer thing over here, the little stool. So you're welcome. Um, Sheba Designs. Cats. This one is... Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery. 
I'll insert the picture because I don't have it in front of me. And this is on Apple Harvest by Mountain Air Fabrics, which is like the worst company to get your fabric from. It's fine. It looks good. It's great. Um, it took like 700 months. It was insane. So, and I thought I ordered linen. It says Lugana. I like stitching on Lugana. And that's how far I got. That's it. I am uh, switching up all the colors to over dyes where applicable. Um, so I kind of looked at the pattern and decided which colors seemed like they were more abundant in like chunks. And then I just changed them to a fancy floss so it looked a little more interesting. Me made Winnie the Pooh. I have a Winnie the Pooh tattoo as well. I have lots of tattoos if you, know, you haven't noticed. Um, they're kind of everywhere all over my legs and stuff but um yeah I have a Winnie the Pooh one as well this is another one from the silk stitching app I'll insert a picture and the name don't remember um this looks like it's a piece of heroic by uh picture this plus as well maybe not no actually it's carnival by be stitch me um mystic fabrics one of those two and that's how far I got Again, this was during my flit and fart stage where I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I was just literally starting everything. And not starting everything that I owned. That'd be too easy. Starting everything that I needed to buy because clearly my stash of patterns that are up here and then in uh, the calyx section right there, not enough. I needed to spend more money on patterns that I don't own. Me made, love. Disney. I don't love Minnie, but I love Disney. My mom loves Minnie, so I was doing something for her and then just decided with the extra fabric I would make a bag. This is my Christmas list, I think is what it's called, by Silver Creek Samplers. Um, I started this back in the day when, um, what's her name? She's a lawyer. She lives in California. She doesn't do floss tube that much anymore. I literally can't remember her name. Um, but she was doing it and so I pulled it out and I'm stitching this on uh, Feldspar 36 count by Picture This Plus and I think I'm doing all the called for. I'm pretty sure because there's a lot of over dyed. Actually, I can just leave it like that. So I think the only thing I changed was the fabric and I'm probably about a quarter of the way done pretty long project but I like the way it's looking on this fabric and so far all of the colors are really showing so again it's one that I love and I really um, will get back to it at some point this is another me made it's you've already seen one similar but it was like inverse colors so um, I think I bought a whole um, what do they call them like fat quarter bundle of these back when I was making project bags um, this is Emily's House by Lindy Stitches. Um, this is after Emily at Eclectic Possessions, um, house, or at least her collaboration on what her dream house would look like. Um, and I love it. Uh, I did spend quite a bit of time stitching on it this year at the very beginning of the year. So I have the whole border complete. I just have to do the flowers, but it did match up and I have all the words complete at the bottom. So I do have quite a bit of stitching left to do because I do have to do that entire house. But um, I feel like I'm, I'm a good good portion of the way there and I, I'm, I'm happy that the border worked because I remember Erin at Two Martini Stitcher saying that it was that beast of a border. Um, and so I really wanted to get that done just so that I knew that it would match up. And if it sounds like I'm name dropping a lot of stitchers, I literally only watch Floss Tube and Baseball. I've given up every other TV show that I watch. My husband thinks I'm insane. Me made. I just thought the colors are really pretty. And this one is another one that I started at Easter and then got, got absolutely destroyed by the white bunny. This is Spring Fling by um, With Thy Needle and Thread. I don't know why they do this. This is the way the pattern goes, but like, this is the way the picture is. It doesn't make sense. But whatever. Um, I'm stitching this on, it's definitely not the called for. Oh, I have the sticker. Uh, Helix by Picture This Plus. Picture This Plus was one of my favorite fabrics before I found Brandy at Be Stitch Me. And that's how far I got. I got all of the one side of the flowers and stuff done. 
and then literally died on the rock that the bunny was sitting on. It's not a rock. It felt like a rock. It was, he's huge. <laughs> I was just like, I had so much white stitching. So I think I put it down and literally went on to that eggs um, all around or whatever by Glendon Place because I was like, I can't so much so but I will get back to him because he's so adorable and I think if you see that pillow right there that's kind of the same vein except that's the Halloween one with the cat on it so finish that one this is another 805 stitcher bag and I got this one for another pretty lady and I think I might even have what I do have a pretty lady inside this one yay me this is uh, Bella Filipina's Gaia the Earth Goddess. Don't mind all the things. There's like these stickers on the back of the pattern and they're horrible because they stick to everything. And like the pattern comes in a plastic bag and it's, it's irritating. But anyway, that's what she's gonna look like. And I have everything called for. This is on Earth Goddess by Mystic Fabrics. I used to always stitch the pretty ladies on the called for, or at least um, in the vein of the called for, and then I decided, forget that, I can do what I want. Um, so this is Earth Goddess by Mystic, and it's also opalescent, and I'm working on the bottom half of her, so I've got a decent start, still a ton left to do, a lot of crinic, a lot of beads, a lot of everything, but um, she's gorgeous. I've, it's my first Bella. I've never worked on a Bella before, or at least um, I might have another one in the go, or at least I have a bunch of patterns that I want to do, but she was my first, and she's gorgeous. I drop stuff. This is an 805 stitcher bag, and it's very apt for what's inside it. This is another Carriage House Samplings um, Hawker and Hollow. This is the Shores of Hawker and Hollow, and this one like screams to me. I love it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. I am going to change this block when I get to it. I found a pattern in the Facebook group. Uh, the short, I think it's called just the Hawker and Hollow or Carriage House Sampling Hawker and Hollow Facebook group. And it's something about Red Sky at Night Sailor's Delight. And I just think that's more fitting because I don't know who Jacob Pomroy is or whatever. And I think Megan at Georgia Girl Stitching her husband's in the Navy and I know she kind of looked it up to see and she couldn't find anything. So I was like, I don't need some fake dude on my pattern. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna replace that. Um, I'm stitching this on Old West by Color and Cotton. It is a 36 count. So this baby's gonna be big. I didn't get very much started. It's just the first block, the lighthouse. And again, I'm stitching it on all the MPI, and I know I went on a little rant earlier about the fact that MPI is not variegated, and it's kind of boring, and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't mean I'm varying from it. And when I look in here, I do see some that, like, again, the major portions of this pattern, sorry for the glare, it looks like I am switching things up. So I have, looks like the water I'm going to do in Rain Shower by Color and Cotton. And then I have a bunch of other hand-dyed flosses in here that I've marked down, I think, on my digital copy of the pattern. But for the most part, I've got all the NPI silks. So, you know, bits and bobs, bits and bobs. And I'm happy I went through this because I found... One of the bobbins that I don't like to keep in projects that are stashed on here just because I'll never find it if I'm looking for it and then I will think that I don't have it and then I'll be sad. So anyway, that's Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. All right, next up, Me Made Doggies. Not the biggest dog fan, but I have one, so well, whatever. And this is the... Um, literally forgot snow village by a uh, cottage country cottage needlework literally can can i be normal but this is this and i am kind of doing a sal with stitches stitching all the things on instagram that's where i know her from i think she has a youtube as well and i've just got the first two blocks done i love this i had originally started it on the called for fabric which is I don't know, I think it's just a regular 
uh, blue Zweigart and I switched over to pic picture this plus dwarf and I much like prefer that because it's got a little bit of variegation I love variegated fabric it's just yeah it just adds a little something something to it so I am working slowly on that I kind of gave up because I didn't really feel like she's stitching this I think it's every Sunday she stitches on it it's snow village Sunday is the sow name I think but I just, I don't know, something about working on snowmen in the middle of like heat waves, just, it's not really for me, so. Me made. This is an Ink Circles, I think. It's on Autumn by, um, I'm having a brain fart, Under the Sea Fabrics. I think it's Ink Circles. This is how far I got. It's not very far at all. No, it's not. It's Schoolhouse Quaker by Stone Street Stitchworks. I'll insert the picture. I literally just had like a boom remembered. And I saw Shiloh from X Stitch MD stitching this a long time ago. And I really wanted to do it. I did switch the colors though. Um, I stitched it to look more like it does in the actual picture than it does um, in the stitched version. I preferred the picture. I thought it was really pretty. Uh, not that I didn't like what the called for was. I just preferred the actual picture. So we went with that. Me made. I have a lot of bags. Uh, like I said, I did have an Etsy store for a little while uh, under the name Jaggedy Crafts. Um, so I was making a lot of bags. But, um, but then I stopped and I closed the store because I was like, oh, I don't do it anymore. When, when you do it and, and people started buying them, it was great. And then it became a job and I didn't want to do it anymore. So, you know, me, me. Another secret sal with Holly, the cross stitch addict, and this is his name is Jesus. Um, I was stitching this on Sundays for a little while. I changed my mind, didn't want to do it anymore. This is just um, Zweigart uh, white and it's opalescent. I really like the fabric and I like the colors. I did switch them up, so I am using all purples. Um, they're just DMC, I think it's 33, 34, and 35. And I like that. I like the, the variegation of the colors, but got bored, so put that away. Story of my life. Next up is another Me Made Project bag. And there's a thing from Bags by Wendy that I've clearly stolen for one of my own bags. Um, and this is um, the Jar Jardin Privé um, Seasons. Uh, it's not called Seasons, but there's four different patterns and they're all the seasons. So it's Quaker de Pretemps, which is spring, then La Tête, which is summer, then L'Automne, which is fall, and then L'Hiver, which is winter. Um, I have very minimal French knowledge. That is one that I have. Um, I'm stitching this on 36 count Badlands by um, Be Stitch Me. I love the way this came is coming out on the fabric. I'm also stitching this with all Leo and Roxy. So. I'm really hoping I don't run out because some of these are f our floss of the month because I am in the floss of the month club and I don't think those are readily available. So I'll either have to be calling in some desperate favors if I run out or hopefully we have enough. So I did stitch all the way across the top and then a bit more into spring. That's what that's looking. I love the way that this fabric is. I'm going to hold it all the way back here because it looks like it's a like a map almost you know it's like a picture frame so I've got that and that's all I've done I wanted to make sure because it was pretty close on the margins so I did want to stitch all the way across to make sure that I was going to have room and that's all the way across the only changes that I'm making are in the alphabet um I don't think I've done it yet but in the alphabets I'm going to be changing our initials um, again, my husband, my son, and my initials to the color of the month before it. So like in this alphabet here, which is summer, it's going to have the um, spring colors. And then in autumn, it'll have summer and in winter, it'll have autumn and stuff just so that it's, you know, kind of a little bit different, but also keeps it in the same color family because the colors are so odd. Um, I didn't want to just pick some other random color to go with it. So I was happy with that. And again, um, the colors that I'm using from Leo and Roxy are Chalkboard, Tarte, Fallu Red, and Cheshire. If you're interested, I can go into more details on that one. 
Here we have a patchwork paw print bag. I really just wanted to try her bags. This is a Little Boat 88 floss bed, but um, I really wanted to try her bags. And I did order another one and then just toss this one in because if I was paying for shipping, I figured I might as well. Um, it's another log, log dog, long dog samplers. And this is Happy Ever After. It's another one of the crosswords. Uh, I really liked that one. It's very small-ish. I'm stitching this on uh, Forbidden, no, Fortnite Fabrics Cool. And I'm using uh, Water Lilies, or Water Lilies by Karen in the color Mulberry. So that's the color that I'm using. And I really like how this is coming out. Sorry, the fabric if I didn't say is 32 count. And I've done the border. So that's how it looks. I liked that the fabric and the floss color were similar, not the same, but that's kind of how it's looking. So, and I like the way the variegation's working on that. I am just going all the way around one stitch at a time of the two borders. There's kind of two separate borders. And that way it's kind of keeping the colors um, cohesive. And I am um, fussy cutting the floss, which isn't too hard. I just, when I go to cut the um, floss, I think I have a bobbin of it in here. Maybe not, I'm not sure where the actual open one is. But when I am cutting the floss, what I'm doing is just intentionally cutting it so that it will then start the next section with the same color that the previous one ended with, if that makes sense. Um, it just, it's it's working for my brain um, and my issues with variegated floss. So, me made, nothing super exciting. And this one does not have very much on it. It probably is still further than Pandemic, but um, it is another Lindy Stitches, and this is to all a good night. Um, it's super pretty. I came out, I think it was Christmas 2021. Yeah, 2021. And I'm stitching this on the called for floss or fabric, which is, does she say on here? Uh, mini raw mini dot linen by Zweigart and with all of the DM or sorry all of the called for floss I don't have very much I'm working on the I'm not sure if it goes this way or this way either way it doesn't matter I'm working on the border it might even go this way yeah it goes this way <laughs> just like that snow at the bottom so yay me for starting a different color so I know when I go back what I'm doing. I actually have it all marked. I do all of my patterns digitally. Even if I have the hard copy, I'll just scan it. I have a scanner over there that I just scan the pattern into my um, iPad. And then I use good notes to do most of my stitching. I will use Pattern Keeper if it's applicable, but I prefer iPad, so I just do that. I've seen this bag before. It is a second one. Um, again, it, it was in the store. I just made a bunch of them and then decided I didn't want to sell anything anymore. This is Luminous Fiber Arts. I don't have a, a print out of the um, pattern, so I'll insert it. This is Gathering Clover, and it's actually on that same fabric I just showed you for the Lindy Stitches, the mini raw dot or raw mini dot. And I'm using um, a bunch of just variegated floss. I have all of her patterns, so I have Gathering Snowflakes, Gathering Berry, Gathering Clover, and gathering acorns, I think it is. So I have the floss for the patterns that I'm going to be stitching and um, it'll all go on the same fabric. And I'll just, I think I'm gonna frame them individually or at least maybe do them in pillows, but I'm not going to do them on different fabrics. I'll just do them all the same. And I like monochromatic just as like an easy stitch. So Little Boat 88, more snowmen. And this is Christmas Vacation Quote. I saw this on the Free Trail Stitchers. Free Trail Stitchers? City Trail? I think. Anyway. Um, and it's the quote from uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which is one of my family's favorite Christmas movies. Um, so I had to do it and I did switch all the colors. So I'm doing a majority of dinky dyes. Um, I do have a bell swa in here as well. They're all on floss drops, but in front of them I have the floss card from dinky dyes. 
Then I'm also doing like all the Christmas lights and stuff I'm doing in Crynix. I'm stitching this on a 32 count Nantucket Sky by Fabrics by Stephanie and I just have a really small start. But I like the way it's looking so far. You can see those Christmas lights are in Crynic just to make them a little sparkly. And then, like I said, I've changed the colors for all of the flosses just to variegated Nikki dyes. It is um, stitched in DMC originally or called for DMC. So it's nice and easy. It's like nine colors or whatever. But... Yeah, well, she's eating my project bags. Next up, a little boat 88. And this is from Needlework Expo, I think this year. And it's the Float and Sting Plum Street Sampler, Heartstring Samplery's um, collaboration piece. And I'm gonna stitch them all on one piece of fabric and like top and bottom. And I think if you go onto either of their websites, they have um, like a little insert um, piece of the pattern that'll connect the two so that you don't have like a separation between them. It kind of just uniquely co connects them. This is stitched on a 36 count vintage country mocha in all the called for. And that's how far I got on the float like a butterfly pattern, which is the top one. And again, like I said, I'll stitch sting right underneath it. And I love butterflies. Again, I have a lot of tattoos of butterflies, including one right here on my arm. So, one of them. All right, There's that guy. Coming to an end of the ones that are stashed away. Next up, in another Evertote bag. This one's huge. I didn't realize that her large bags were quite so large. So if you're not into large project bags, just get her regular size. This is another Modern Folk Embroidery Fruit of Plenty, which was the 2022 Stitch Along by Jacob over at Modern Folk Embroidery. I did restart this um, this year because I didn't like the colors that I had chosen for last year. So I am stitching it in. It's on a color and cotton fabric. I think it's called, I can't remember, or maybe it's Fox and Rabbit Ocean Air. I think it, it is Fox and Rabbit Ocean Air. And I just have... January restarted so I'm ch I've chosen two different DMCs and that is what we're going with I don't think I have the colors oh I do have the colors in here because it comes with a little pouch again I put the DMCs away and I'm sorry if you can hear the dog she just she, it is what it is I'm doing um 3808 and 597 are my color choices so that is that one and yeah, it's Fox and Rabbit Ocean Air is the fabric choice for that. And I have another patchwork paw print Blackbird um, fabric bag. This is the one that I wanted to get and then threw in the other one because it's that kind of mini square quilted one and it's just absolutely gorgeous. There's the back of it. I just absolutely love it. My cat and dog are fighting, so if you can hear them, they're fine. They're just jerks. So live with the life you lead, right? This has two projects in it. The first one is Rose Quaker, and that is by the Stickton Dean von der Weinberg. Um, and I love the colors on this, even though I'm not uh, like a warm colored person, I just love the colors. So this is being stitched on again, an unironed piece of uh, Fox and Rabbit's uh, flannel flower, which is probably my absolute favorite fabric in the entire world um I love the variegation the colors it's just it's like dirty but gorgeous and I absolutely love it and this is 32 count because I like I love the pattern and the fabric so much that I'm willing to have a gigantic sampler on my wall and this is again a Quaker I love Quakers and then the other project in here that I just briefly started was Carnation Quaker by the same designer and I love the colors in this one as well and I don't have very much of this one done and it is being stitched on salt bush by fox and rabbit and don't mind me I literally have a piece dangling and that's all I have done on that one so those are both gorgeous love them both Quakers right up my alley we're going with it then the last one that I have stored away is an, a um, Mickey Mouse Disney characters bag. This is literally my Disney stitch. I took this with us to Disney World 
this uh, year we went for New Year's, so we were there when the ball dropped, and this was what I was stitching on. Inside it I have all the donut stitch Disney patterns, not all of them, but the ones that I want to stitch. And I've started on Snow White, so here is what that looks like. The donut stitch Snow White. Now, I know I said that soda stitch wasn't necessarily my style. This is more my style. I really like it. I think that it's super cute the way that they're done. So I'm stitching the Snow White one on a piece of Atypical by Mystic Fabrics, and that is 32 count. And I did get quite a bit done while we were in Disney. I've only stitched on this while we were away. We were gone for 10 days. And that's what I got done, which isn't too bad. And then in this bag, I also have um, the other patterns that I want to stitch with their fabrics inside. So I have um, it's a Cinderella. I love the colors in that one. And I'm going to be stitching that on a piece of cool by Forbidden, uh, no, Fortnite Fabrics. I don't know why I have such an issue with that. And then I have Beauty and the Beast, which I'm going to stitch for my girlfriend because she's a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. And I'm going to stitch that on Brain Fog by Mystic Fabrics. So that's all I have in there. I'll just put all this away. And then I'm going to pull out my little footstool that will show you how psychotic I am with the projects that I just keep to the side. So give me one sec. All right. Here's my footstool. This is, I got it on Amazon. And the lid comes off and inside is a bunch of projects. So I'll just go through those quickly. Okay, so first up is, um, I started this yesterday. It's by Yasmin, Made With Love. It's her pride piece. Um, with it being June 1st yesterday, the start of Pride Month, I decided I would uh, participate in some pride stitching. I'm stitching this on um, Fabric Flares Fairy Dust. It's a kind of a rainbowy fabric, and it does have just a hint. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, maybe a little bit of um, sparklies in it. And I'm stitching it with... A rainbow of colors that are sort of similar to what is called for. So she calls for all DMC. I've switched the majority of it over to dinky dyes. So that's kind of my palette. And I have it in this gorgeous Sheba Designs rainbow cat bag. Just seemed super appropriate. So I will stitch on this a little bit every day this month. And hopefully get it finished by the end of the month. So I'll keep you updated as I continue filming um, and this is how I stitch. It's in a hoop. I love the eight inch um, hoops. They're just the plastic ones. I think they're the Susan Bates hoops. Um, and then I use these little cable ties where appropriate and I use hair clips to hold all my fabric back. And the um, needle minder that I use actually comes with 805 stitcher bags or at least did and it was like covered buttons and I use them backwards because I like to hold as I'm stitching I go like this so that I can get a better grip on where I am stitching um, and it just helps keep my hand still as I'm stitching and I don't it's weird it's me it works you do you I do me whatever so yeah that's the first project in the bin of crazy. This is the one I was working on and literally how I put it away. It doesn't have a bag yet. So it's got my readers on it, the floss, and my favorite scissors. Um, so floss. I This is, and again, I'll insert pictures for all these that don't have patterns with them. This is Quacker Sampler. And it's a uh, Quaker of all ducks. I'll kind of use my shirt to show you. I'm working on the first um, motif. Um, up in the top right corner. I'm stitching this for my mom. It is on a piece of Seraphim Fabrics uh, um, fabric, um, I think. I'll insert the name if I can. It's in a sticker on my table. And I'm using the floss Silken Colors or Thread Gather in Mint Frost. It really doesn't show up as variegated. So you can see all these like greeny colors and a little bit of blue and stuff. That doesn't show up in the stitching, but that's fine. I wanted a kind of white-ish color, but I also love silk, so we went with that. Next up is one that I literally took out of a hoop, poked myself in the eye, but I wanted to keep working on, so I haven't put it away in a bag yet, but it literally doesn't have a hoop. And I just started this this week. It is the Greenhouse of Oddities Stitch Along by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. 
Um, I'm stitching this on a piece of Valor by, um, I think it's Valor. It's either Valor or Heritage by Picture This Plus. It's 36 count. And I've got the top of the dome started. And I'm using Anchor Black for that. And then I'll use all the called for crust or all the called for DMC for the rest of them. Um, I think she's releasing the second planting, she's calling them, today or tomorrow. I saw the post showing kind of the blurred out image of it. But I can't remember if that was like, she posted yesterday and so it was today because she said tomorrow. Either way, it's coming out soon. Next up in a Sheba Designs kitty cat bag, we have, what do we have? Um, oh, this is Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery's newest sal. I'm stitching it with all the called for colors. So these are all, it's not actually, these are my, my um, flosses from my backup collection so they're all just in here but if I decide to put it away for a while I won't take them out um and I've finished it's being stitched on again I'll insert I think it's um mystic fabrics fabric and I've done the first clue so I'm waiting for I think July for clue number two it's cute I think it's called um castle uh, castle something you'll you'll see I'll put it on the screen and insert the clue pattern picture that we have so far. Next up, I told you I literally shove things in bags when they're in this little stool. This is a, I think it's Shiba Designs bag. I like it. It's very spooky. And in here is Death by Cross Stitch. <laughs> I decided I wanted to stitch it. I was going to stitch on it literally every night just for like a strand of floss. Haven't done that, but I am using... Uh, silks for you floss. I do have a uh, hand dyed by Rolanda. I think a floss. No, it, this is Bestitch Me. Sorry. Uh, Bestitch Me floss as well. Don't mind the craziness of it. Because I wasn't sure if I would do some of the like little motifs in this color. I did do one. I'm not sure if I love it yet. So we'll see. This is on Vintage Country Mocha um, 36 count. And that's how far I have. So you can see kind of the variegation of it. And that's the little the other color. I just don't know if I love it yet. So I haven't done any more um, and I'll decide before I move forward. But let me know what you think. Do you like the little pop of lighter blue for some interest or is the variegation in the floss enough? So um, I'm not currently stitching on this. I just, it's in here. So, you know, is what it is. I haven't put it away yet. I'm literally just shoved the floss in there. We're good to go. Next up, Cats eating more floss. Give me one moment. This is working. This is a Me Made project bag. Cats. And it is Sea Stars by Ink Circles. Let me get a picture for you. That's what it looks like. And I did do a conversion to all fancy floss. Whatever I had in my stash, I kind of just went by the colors that looked like it. It's primarily Leo and Roxy, but I do have in here some. Uh, Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works, um, some Dinky Dyes, but yeah, I kept in the, in the vein, in the spirit of the original pattern that um, was designed, and you can't even see what I have done. I have the first motif done, and then a little bit of the other one, so I have that big motif done, and then I started just a couple of the ones around it. And again, I was going to do that every night. Best laid plans. Oh, and I'm stitching that on just a 28 count antique white. I don't stitch very much on white because I don't have a ton of white fabric, but I like it. All right, next up is another secret sal that I'm doing with all the girls that went to Stitch North this year. Um, Elizabeth Ann can stitch, X Stitch MD, um, Frizzy Lizzie stitches. I'm not sure. I think there might have been one other person, but I can't quite remember. And that is the Artist Designs The Love Boat Sampler or Love Boats Sampler. I'm stitching this on 36 count Picture This Plus in Truffle and I put it in my own little attempt at a Bags Plus bag. Um, and I did do a full conversion um, because it all, is all stitched in color and cotton. I don't have a huge color and cotton collection. So I think I had 
two color and cotton called for colors and then again I just did in the vein of the pattern and in like the spirit of the colors have done my own conversion and so that's where we are there is a mistake over here in one of the colors I think I did one too many stitches here but I don't think it's gonna matter I'm usually a go back and fix it even if it's not gonna matter but I, I'd already stitched another color and it's variegated flosses and it's just gonna cause a headache um, because again, I cut my variegated flosses strategically. So then I would have to find where I'm just going to wing it for now. And I'm not going to use this as my counting line. I'm going to count from up here and from whatever motifs are off that, but that's as far as I've gotten off that. And yes, again, 805 stitcher button, hair tie, little bobby thing here. I am a creature of habit and I do everything the same. And then the last three in here actually aren't current stitchy projects, but they are close enough to a finish that I did put them in here so that I can grab them and potentially finish them this summer. So in another me made Disney bag, we need a poo. This is a Little House Needleworks Summer ABCs. I have all of the band samplers like this for all the seasons, including the one that's I think just the stitching one. And I'm stitching this on fiber on a whim cocoa with, I think all the called for, it's just got DMC in the bag. So, and that's how far I am. I'm, it's an alphabet and I'm down to L. So, you know, about halfway through the alphabet, I think. Don't quote me on that, but um, hopefully we'll be able to get that done this summer because it was pretty quick. It's pretty like narrow. So there's not a ton of work to do in it. Another me made project bag. And this is not seasonal, but um, I'm almost kind of like halfway through or whatever. It's Oh Christmas Tree by All, of, All Through the Night. And I'm doing this on, it says uh, 30 count putty, but that's not the right linen. So I'm not sure what color I'm doing it on. It's a scrap that I have. And I'm doing it in um, Classic Colorworks English Ivy. And this is a Sarsi Girl Floss drop that she uses that you can hook onto the back of your door. I'll show you that. I'll put a picture of what that looks like on the back of my door. Um, and so I have them for all of my fancy flosses that are extra and above the Pip and Chip collection. So that's where I am. I'm probably, let me see. I would say I'm coming up to the, to the kind of fattest part of the tree, which is the bottom of it. So I probably have like a couple more stitching sessions left. And again, it is variegated floss. So you do have to be a little more strategic in how you're stitching, but it's not super variegated. So it's not that big a deal. All right, last two. This is a um, Evertote bag. It was in our um, Stitch North kind of merch gift bag that we got last year when we went to Stitch North. And this is my oldest whip. So um, I just have it in here because it needs to get done. It's stitched on a um, piece of Zweigart. I think it's 28 count, might be 32. I think it's 28 though. Um, and it is Kitty and Me's um, Holly Berry Cat, I think it's called. And I literally have half of it done. So she got half a face. And no matter how many times I look at it and be like, I don't really want to stitch this anymore. It's too gorgeous not to finish. Um, absolutely gorgeous. It's stitched all in DMC except for the Krynik. So that's what that looks like. And it's just my oldest one that I have unfinished. It needs to get finished. So, and then I do have one more. And this is a 805 stitcher. I was trying to, it's right here, but I was looking at the floss tag um, bag. And this is the last whip that I have. And it is Imagine uh, Ingleside Imaginarium Don't Feed the Plants. And that's from this Needlework Expo. Love it so, so much. And it's stitched all in Be Stitch Me stuff. So this is Garden Party, um, 36 count Garden Party by Be Stitch Me. And it's stitched with Be Stitch Me silks. It's not ironed because I am working on it. I just took it off a Q-snap or sorry, a hoop. So that's the first, might go this way. That's the first rose for the plant. And then here are all the flosses. The, or the silks from her, so beautiful. Okay, 
I think that's it for me. That is all of my whips. Thank you so, so much for sticking with me through this. It was long. Um, my videos will not be that long moving uh, forward, or at least I'm a chatter, but I promise they're not gonna be this long. Um, I just wanted to get all of my whips um, categorized and out there for you to see what I'm stitching on. Um, if you see something that you like, and you want to stick around, I'll ask you to subscribe, like, comment, all the fun stuff um, in the description bar below. I will put links to my Instagram account. I'll put my email address if you're interested in connecting with me outside of, you know, social media. That will be there as well. And I'll try to pop on here in the next week or two to go through. I have a bunch of haul over here that I haven't put away and then some finishes that I would like to show off. And I'll update you on my stitching that I've done dog's crying needs to go outside so it's time to say goodbye and thank you very much for joining me on this journey today and I will talk to you next time bye everyone